How's it going, my friends? This is Ionicus, and today we're looking at the Buzzworthy Bumblebee True Builder Multi Pack. Um, see, there's four figures here there's a Decepticon Seeker, the Kutsan Trooper, the G2 Universe Cybertronian Trooper, and the Animated Universe Auto Trooper. Now, we're not doing these all in one sitting, you're doing it one by one do each figure individually so oh excuse me let's see you got the artwork on the front got alt, the alt faces on the top little artwork right there another artwork right there all four figures in both modes on the back and a slight description and legal bullshit on the bottom uh, I've been enjoying these multi-packs that they've been giving us. Uh, the Worlds Collide. Uh, the Cyberverse. And now this one. I think the only one I didn't get was the Multi-Seeker Cyberverse set. It was like four, uh, Starscream repaints. Into different troop characters in Cyberverse. And I hated this Cyberverse Starscream mold. It was crap. But we're not talking about that. We're talking about this right here. So let's go ahead and get this opened up and check it out. And welcome to. Oh, there it is. And welcome to Ionicus Toy Reviews. Really? I have no idea why this isn't working. And so here we have the Quintesson Trooper, also known as the Alicon. And he's probably my second favorite because I have not had, I have the original disc, but I never opened them and he's in a bin somewhere. But he looks good with the shoulder pads, the spiky bits on the top of him, the horned helmet head, the greens, the pinks, the teal, the gray belt. You got a little bit of a rotation there. Where you got the waist swivel, this is good. I can go up that far, I can go back that far. And super kick. Upper thigh swivel, bend at the knee. And there's a foot tilt. There's a ball joint there in the neck. Arms can rotate and swivel. Bend at the elbow and the hands rotate. You got the alligator head on the back. Rawr. So it's a lot of... This is a cool looking figure. Can't really do a T-pose because the port's right here. I'll box it. But still. It's nice. 
He comes with his tailpiece, which you see the slot right there, the peg right there. There's this tail piece that can come out as a blade, this is another weapon. X and the mace can combine the staff. Molding gray plastic and looks really nice. The details look really nice. Put that over there. Here we got the alternate head. Second here. There we go. Pop that right off. There we go. I think that's more of the classic head than this one. This is the alternate head. Anyway, transformation, you push that down, bring, you gotta pull that out. You gotta rotate the waist. And see there's that slot right there, and that peg right there. Just gotta Oh, that popped off, but I'll fix that in a moment. down here
there's his alligator mode. And you can plug the, the weapons on here. I like how the little guy looks. I mean, very easy transformation. Head sculpts are great. Let me flip this around and I'll give you my final thoughts on him in just a moment. So the Alicon or Quintesson Trooper is the last of the troop builders. And the only one that I have not reviewed a version of this mold. Uh, 10 out of 10. I like this guy a lot. Easy transformation. I mean, you're just sw making this, doing the swivel around the waist, pegging in his arms behind him, attaching the tail, and that's it. So, if we can get this set cheap, I would definitely suggest picking it up. It's completely worth it. And the normal retail price is $77.99. And you get three deluxes and a Voyager. That's like 35 Just on the three deluxes, it's $24.99, $24.99. It's $75 right there. You're basically buying three deluxes and getting one Voyager for free. Whole set, giving it a 10 out of 10. If you agree with me and like these figures, give me a thumbs up down below. Like, share, subscribe. Whack that bell for notifications. And just remember to keep in those toy aisles. I'll see you guys next time. Later. Oh, wait, is that again?